Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Buckle up because this is gonna be a bumpy ride. Today I'm gonna be showing you all of the assault weapons in Kaboom, fully modified and somewhat modified. No way, shut up. You have all the assault weapons in Kaboom? I totally do. No you don't, yes I do. I'll show you. Shut up and I will. Okay, here we go. Let's get right into it. I'm getting crazy before the video is even starting. So first weapon in the list is the AK-74. The AK-74 fully modified has the specs of 31 damage, accuracy of 260, fire rate of 10.4 holder of 30 rounds and total ammo of 210 this weapon has two skins we have the red and blue with a bunch of other colors in there as well and then we have the aqua blue which is the new one which is my personal favorite because i like the new ones um but yeah it's aqua blue and it's white and it looks absolutely gorgeous moving on to the next weapon in the list we have the mp5k fully modified this weapon has the specs of 23 damage accuracy of 210 fire rate of 9.6 holder of 20 rounds and total ammo of 160 i absolutely love the polka dotted skin on this weapon because it looks gorgeous and it pops out the most and I like the jingly poppy out most. Uh, anyways, this weapon has five skins, MP5K five skins, very befitting to the name, don't you think? First one is a camo. We have a really nice black and white camo or gray and black camo rather. Uh, and then we have the yellow, black, and red, which is pretty nice as well. Looks like it's just been spray painted. Uh, for a second there, I just kept cl clicking on the camo, like, what's going on? Why is it switching to the next skin? Uh, and then we have the cobweb lightning. I call it cobweb lightning because it's, it's like the shape of a cobweb, but it's bright like this lightning. So, yeah, I just came up with that name. Uh, and then we have the polka dotted red, which is the one I have equipped. And finally, we have the black one uh, with white stripes on it. I don't know why this one's a legendary, really not that amazing looking one. But, uh, hey, Kaboom Creator decided it, so, so it shall be that way. Uh, next... We have a counter on it, not a counter. We have a keychain on here. The keychain is Deadpool. Who doesn't love Deadpool? And it really does go beautifully with this polka dotted skin. Moving on to the next weapon, which is the SR3. The SR3 fully modified has the specs of 20 damage, accuracy of 193, fire rate of 9.1, holder of 30 rounds, and total ammo of 180. Really nice step up in damage when, uh, when comparing it to the MP5K. So if you want a weapon that's stronger than the P5K, your next best option is the SR3. Looking at this weapon, it has three skins since it is the SR3. Once again, pretty fitting of the name. Three skins. We have a navy camo, we have a flame skin, and we have a graffiti skin. Yeah, we ran through that one pretty quickly, didn't we? Next is the crest. Ow, I just punched my other phone. Ow, that really hurt. Uh, next is the crest. The crest, uh, crest fully modified has the specs of 24 damage, accuracy of 204, fire rate of 15.6, holder of 20 rounds, and total ammo of 180. This weapon has has three skins as well we have a camo we have a black and blue and we have a flame the flame is very befitting of the chris since the chris is the fastest weapon in the game Ow, uh, my phone, my arm still hurts. When I'm excited, I'm just flailing my arms around and I accidentally punch stuff while I'm recording a video. And when I'm recording, I'm excited. So, anyways, I'm way too excited today. What's going on? Uh, next, we have the UMP. UMP, one of my favorite weapons because it's amazingly balanced and it has phenomenal accuracy. This weapon, fully modified, has a, a damage of 28, accuracy of 228. Wow, damage and accuracy, like, same. Uh, fire rate of 10.4, holder of 25 rounds, and total ammo of 150. This weapon has three skins as well. We have a camo, we have a red, yellow, and black, and we have a silver and blue, which is a legendary. has Kaboom written on it. I love this skin. Uh, moving on to the bison. The bison. Fully modified, which means the bison only having one modification, which is the silencer, uh, has the specs of 22 damage, accuracy of 146, fire rate of 12.5, holder of 64 rounds, and total ammo of 192. The holder is totally random, 64 rounds. Why not 60? Why not 70? Why not 65? I don't know. Uh, I'm just doing crazy shit right now. Um... Yeah, this weapon looks absolutely fantastic. It has two skins. We have the bloody skin, and then we have this gorgeous, um, 
what is it heated metal it looks like it looks like the metal was heated and then it turned orange if that makes sense if you guys know what heated metal looks like um moving on to the uh p90 the p90 fully modified has the specs of 21 damage accuracy of 182 fire rate of 14.3 holder of 50 rounds in total ammo of 150 really low damage really nice fire rate and a nice big holder this weapon has four skins we have a camo we have an orange number one orange number two and we have have uh, aqua bluish, light bluish, and white. Moving on to the PPSH, very similar to the bi bison. But bison. Uh, this weapon has uh, only one customization you could really add to boost specs, which is the flashlight. This weapon also has a damage of 21, so very similar to the bison. Accuracy of 210, fire rate of 10, holder of 71 rounds, and total ammo of 142. Very odd holder, 71 rounds, why not 70? But hey, they decided it, so it shall be that way. This weapon has two skins as well, a bright, uh, colorful one. I like that one. And then the barrel is yellow and orange as well, which is really nice. Uh, and then this weapon also has a wooden skin, which is which looks like flames are coming out from inside the wood. Uh, next we have the G36C. The G36C looks futuristic, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the few weapons that I don't have fully modified. This weapon has the specs of 31 damage, accuracy of 212, fire rate of 7.7, .7, holder of 30 rounds in total, ammo of 210. Now, surprising this weapon has such good stats, especially considering it only has a flashlight equipped. We have yet to add a silencer, a fast clip, and a sight, which will make the stats of this weapon even better next we have oh actually i didn't look at the skins completely forgot this weapon has a beautiful futuristic skin and then it has a gorgeous black and red skin next we have the sig the sig one of my favorite mid-tier weapons has really really nice accuracy uh, this weapon has a specs of 31 damage accuracy of 225 fire rate of 10 holder of 30 rounds and total ammo of 210 this weapon has four skins we have the um, camo. I completely blinked on camo right there. Uh, we have a red, a uh, red. Uh, we have a red and black skin, and then we have a uh, cop skin, and finally, we have this lava-looking skin. It looks like lava rock with blue flames underneath. Yeah, my my brain's going completely to toast. So here's where it gets hard. Um, next we have the scar, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, assault weapon in the game. Uh, we have the specs of 32 damage, accuracy of 206, fire rate of 12.5, holder of 20 rounds in total, ammo of 180. This weapon has two skins. We have the Hello Kitty skin, and then we have the red and silver skin. I call I call uh, I call white silver. As you guys could see, I wasn't lying when I said my brain's going to toast after the first couple of minutes here. Uh, next weapon on the list is the M4A1. The M4A1 fully modified has the specs of 35 damage, accuracy of 214, fire rate of 9.5 or 10.9. Where did 9.5 come from? <laughs> a holder of 30 rounds in total, ammo of 210. This weapon has a lot of skins. We have a camo skin. We have... A black and white skin, we have a green and black skin, we have a navy camo, we have a construction site skin, and we have a orange, white, and black. Next on the skin is next on the list is AK-47. We have uh, the specs of 39 damage, accuracy of 191, fire rate of 8.9. Gosh, that's so loud. Uh, fire rate of 8.9, holder of 30 rounds, and total ammo of 210. This weapon has the most skins of any weapon in the game, having 8 skins in total. We have a camo, we have orange and black, we have white and red and black. We have a gold skin, we have a red and black skin, we have a red and yellow skin, we have a hacker skin, and we have an orange, white, and black skin. A lot of skins there. Almost ran out of breath seeing all those. Next we have the Aswal. The Aswal fully modified has the specs of 33 damage, accuracy of 162, fire rate of 13.2, holder of 20 rounds and total ammo of one or total ammo of 200. This weapon has three skins, some of the best looking skins in my opinion. The desert camo, absolutely breathtaking. Uh, this weapon looks fantastic. And then we have the white and a bunch of different colors. Uh, and then we have a black and red. 
Moving on to the AUG, the AUG fully modified has a specs of 37 damage, accuracy of 228, most accurate as high tier assault weapon in the game, fire rate of 7.8, holder of 30 rounds in total, ammo of 150. This weapon has four skins, it really likes its beige brownish color skins. We have brown number one, we have orange which isn't my favorite, gives me a headache when I look at it, and then we have a black uh black brown and white uh and then we have the slime skin which is the legendary skin next on the list is a famas very underrated weapon in my opinion this weapon has the specs of 36 damage accuracy of 218 fire rate of 9.5 holder of 30 rounds in total ammo of 180 this weapon has three skins a beautiful red skin then we have a gray skin which is pretty bland and then we have a really pop popping out skin uh which is the legendary skin final weapon on the list and the strongest assault weapon in the game looks super crazy like the famas doesn't it looks a lot similar i know what you're thinking oh i thought it too yeah i thought it too yeah uh what is going on i, I have no idea what's going on at this point this weapon has the specs of 41 damage accuracy of 184 fire rate of 8.1 holder of 30 rounds in total ammo of 210 this weapon only has one skin looks like splattered paint and then we have our usual black but yeah guys that is the video i hope you liked it if you did hit that thumbs up button if you like this type of content in general hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell as you guys could tell i'm a little bit crazy but i still like it because it allowed me to be me um also if you want to support my channel definitely go check out my patreon my patreon um will help my uh, help support my channel will take my content to the next level and welcome to the family